parent, it is your job to talk to your kids about death so they have a truthful understanding about what it is. It is not the school's job and it is not the job of your child to work it out on their own. And many parents won't want to hear that because they're either afraid of death themselves or they worry they'll ruin their child's innocence or that they'll mess it up that badly that they'll scar the child for life. So in this video, we're going to give you some solid tips and advice to help you have these conversations with your kids. Please like and subscribe if you find this helpful. Now let's talk, talking to your kids about death. Before we get started, I'll let you know that we did a very long in-depth video about how to talk about all this with your kids through all ages of development, way back when we started this channel. And in hindsight, it probably was a bit too in-depth and it didn't really go that well. But I'm letting you know now and I'll put a link in the description should you want more information. Right, now onwards. Your goal. Your overarching goal is to teach your child that every living thing dies and that that is normal. But just telling the kid everything dies, it's normal, isn't going to cut it. You have to show them through teachable moments. That pot plant that's on your back patio that just died, there's a moment. Kids find a small dead lizard in the park, there's a moment. You watch that particular episode of Sesame Street, link in the description, there's a moment. Use them whenever they come up. A couple of sentences each time and letting them ask any questions that they have is all you need to do if you're doing it regularly. There are four main points. The four main points that you need to get your kid to understand about death are irreversibility, finality, inevitability, causality. Irreversibility means that death is permanent. Finality meaning all functioning stops at death. Inevitability, meaning death is universal for all living things. And causality, meaning what causes death. Now, on the one hand, that seems obvious. On the other hand, you'd be surprised how many parents screwed up. Which leads us to the most important point. Your answers should be simple and truthful. This means no euphemisms and no saying things just to make it easier for yourself. So you need to use the actual words dead, death, dying. Say them with me now. You do not use phrases like passed away, went to heaven, didn't make it, lost their battle. The list goes on and on. Remember, you're trying to teach them irreversibility, finality, inevitability, causality, and those phrases just don't do it. Also, when you get around to talking about cremation, don't say that grandma's going into an oven. She's not coming out well done and tender to be served with a fresh salad. Unless everything is coming out of your oven at home, burnt and beyond recognition, almost a powder form, in which case, why are you cooking anymore? Start talking about death at a young age. Typically, you should be starting to talk to your child about death by the age of three. And oh, the horror! Obviously, this should be age appropriate and be in a step-by-step -step manner as they get older. Compare it to maths. You wouldn't just give your kids some complicated algebra question and say, there, off you go. No, first you would teach them to count, then basic equations, and so on. It should be a series of ongoing short conversations, not one big sit down at the table conversation. It will be easier for you and them, and it ensures that you won't be blindsided by external factors. You are not protecting your child by hiding death from them. My child can't know about death, it'll ruin their innocence. This mentality drives me up the wall. Firstly, your child is not stupid, so don't treat them like they are. Secondly, they will think about death or dying with or without your input, so you might as well be prepared to walk alongside them wherever they're ready. Don't wait for grandma or lassie to die or for them to hear it about it at school or while they're playing on your phone, because, you know, internet is a thing. Death is an abstract concept to a child. Your child will often ask the same question over and over in order to understand because it's complicated. Don't be discouraged and try not to get frustrated. I know that's difficult. Be proud that you have an inquisitive child and be prepared for those questions to come at the odd moments, usually when you're on the toilet or in a Zoom work meeting. Make sure they understand this before they are teenagers. Having a solid understanding of what death is, what it looks like, and what it means can help them make better life decisions. Or rather, prevent them from making some really stupid ones. We went into this a lot in our other videos, so if you have teenagers, I really recommend you giving it a watch. Because don't fool yourself, your teen may be the size of an adult, but their brain is not, which makes them impulsive, and that can lead to them beating you to the grave. And if your teen is asking questions about death, don't shut them down. Be thankful that they're coming to you instead of the internet. And if you do shut them down just for asking a simple knowledge-based question, you can forget about them coming to you for advice or help in the future. And if you feel that they are too interested in death, we have a video that you should watch before you approach them about it. And I'll put that in the description. 
some of the actual reasons that they're interested in it may surprise you. Don't transfer your fears onto your child. Death anxiety and denial is a huge problem here in Australia and in many countries because we just don't see death anymore. But death is normal and a natural part of the human experience and you need to come to terms with that. That is what this channel is all about. Speak confidently and calmly with your child. Have a sense of humour about it. Allow them to ask questions and if you don't know the answer, tell them you don't know the answer but that you'll find out for them. Don't allow your fears to be transferred onto your child. Guiding your children to understand the concept of death is something that you have to do as a parent. And you can do it if you take it one step at a time. This isn't one big conversation, this is many small conversations over many years. And if you need more details, please go and watch our other videos about it. And with that, go talk death.